I can't do anything right. You know, every kid your age feels the exact same way. Doesn't seem like it. Well, that's because they're busy hiding it. Just like you're hiding now. Well, I can't hide anymore. You know, I bet in a few months this will all fade away, and when you're older, you're going to get a good laugh at this memory. I can't imagine ever laughing about this. That's because you weren't watching it. Mm. It's not funny. No, I know. I know. A frog knocking down a castle splat. No, it wasn't funny at all. <laughs> the tree going to fall in on Pamela. <laughs> And what is more tragic than a squished princess? Well, you made it for me. Would you do me a favor? I want to craft my program. Personalized. Plotkin was right. The scenery went back up, Pamela's dress was fixed, and the show went on. Pamela even got a standing ovation. Today's the theater club party, and I'm not sure I should even be going. Hi, Oz. Hi, Patrick. This party's for cast and crew only. You left the play early. Leave her alone, Pamela. Yeah, cut her some slack. She didn't mean to do it. Well, how can you be so sure? Alice wouldn't do something like that. Patrick, why are you defending her? Cause she's cool. Really, Pamela, I never meant for any of that to happen. I might have been a little jealous that you got the part. Okay. Really jealous, but I would never ruin the whole play on purpose. I suppose it would be difficult to mess up that badly on purpose. I mean, who would want to humiliate themselves like that in front of all those people? Thanks. I think. Alice, I owe you an apology. I overreacted last night and jumped to conclusions. I'm sorry. I hope you'll stay for the party, and then afterwards, maybe you can help me clean up a bit. I'll give you a ride home if it's too late to walk. I'd love to stay and help, but I actually have to go meet someone. Isn't it funny how I've been trying to be friends with Miss Cole just so she could be my role model? when my real role model was standing right before me. Hi, Mrs. Plotkin. Oh, hi, Alice. Theater club was having a party, so I thought I'd bring you some cake. That is so sweet of you. You know, I was just thinking about taking a little break myself. Have a seat. I just wanted to thank you for helping me the other night. It, it really made me feel better. Oh, it's my pleasure. I was wondering if I could come back and help you clean the room in the afternoons. Oh, that isn't necessary, hon. No, I, I'd like to, really. Oh, what I'm trying to say, it won't be necessary because I'm not returning to school after winter break. Well, when are you coming back? September, the earliest. I've decided to take a sabbatical. You know, I've been working here over 25 years. I decided I'd like to spend a little more time at home. You can't just leave in the middle of the year. Well, I know it's not great timing, Alice, but that's the way things work out sometimes. But I have been thinking that if you would still like to be in Miss Cole's class, that I could maybe get Mr. Edgecombe to agree to transfer you there due to the circumstances and all. I don't want to be transferred, and I think what you're doing is awful. Alice, Alice, come back. 